right? See, the problem you have with sorting things out and moving things around and reorganizing again is that until it's completely done, and even a bit after that, I can't find anything. It's all gone. It's, it's, it's gone. It's completely gone. I'm missing every pair of trousers, apart from the ones that I wore yesterday. Everything that's in those the drawers in the desk upstairs, I can't get to them. Everything behind the desk that I've locked off with, it, can't get to them either. And everything that's in the room uh, in the hallway that is behind the set of drawers and the other desk that I've blocked off, can't get there either. So I've had to make do ready for work today. Well, we're back in the rain again. Another grim day, but it is like 5 p.m. now, so I'm not expecting it to be like a glorious sunny rainbow or anything, but. At least we had yesterday. That was nice while it lasted. I spent it all in Ikea. But now heading home, so that's good. Josie should still be at home as well, and she's texted me saying she's making fajitas, so I am super excited. Had my two jugs of fuel for food today, so I am ready for dinner. It's gonna be good. This whole fuel thing's working out really well. I get I get so started during the day, so quick, so easy, like I'm super lazy. Is that a big spot on my forehead? Nope, just a lovely face. Fine, whatever. Yeah, super lazy, so I get to like just cheat my way through lunch by like doing very little and getting sustenance too. And then I go home and I really enjoy my dinner and I'm so excited for it. It's also really good knowing that Joe's still at home so I get to cook him home to her. That's like a really great feeling. You don't, you don't get that very often. She has to work quite a lot, I have to work quite a lot. She has to stay at hers, I have to stay at mine, I have to stay at hers when she's not there. All that kind of stuff, we don't cross over that much. So knowing that she's there, waiting for you to come home, is a very cool feeling. And I did manage to get my vlog edited and rendered. I haven't uploaded it yet though. I tried uploading it on the public Wi-Fi, it got to 3% and bitched out on me. So, eh. Better spend the next four hours in underground in a, in a cage. It's literally called the cage. So I couldn't even use it on data if I wanted to. So I'm going to head home. I'll be home about sort of six. Then I, hopefully I can get it uploaded within the hour. So it should be fine on broadband, hopefully. Fingers crossed anyway. 10. When it's over, thank the spirit. Just got home and it looks like there's some people trying to break into their car. I think maybe they've locked themselves out of it or something, but I'm just watching. I'm not helping. It looks really sketchy as hell. Well, I'm just lying here after my delicious fajita dinner, playing some Switch, watching some TV, whilst Josie's upstairs getting ready for bed, and I will join her shortly as it is... Half past eight in the evening, and I know that isn't late, I keep saying that, but I do have to get up at 4 a.m., and that is a pretty standard day for me. I'm doing that all week this week. So today I didn't achieve an awful lot, but tomorrow back to normal with doing things after work as per usual. So I hope you've enjoyed whatever day this was. I don't have any clue what happened today. All I know is I struggled to get yesterday's vlog uploaded quick enough, but I think I made it. It got up to 360p, better into live, so that was okay. I'm pretty happy that it was live at 7 anyway. But yeah, hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, I like your dreams, very appreciated. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later.